the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now hear Hotline editors Amy Walter and John Mercurio. Welcome to Hotline TV, everybody. I'm John Mercurio. And I'm not. Uh, Fred Thompson officially entered the White House race last night, vowing to return the Republican Party to better times. Thompson declared his intentions both in a 15-minute webcast and an appearance on The Tonight Show. John, what do you have to say about Thompson's big audition? I think we're going to take a look at his big right. audition. At 94, our conservative principles led us to a comeback and majority control of the Congress. Now, you don't want to have to come back from another Clinton victory. Our country needs us to win next year, and I'm ready to lead that effort. Biggest boogeyman in the Republican primary is Hillary Clinton. As many times as Fred Thompson can mention her name in, the, in, this, uh, in this election, the better he is. He's the electable. He's got the electability thing going for him in a way that uh, Mitt Romney and probably Giuliani uh, don't either. So, sure, I can see why he's going to bring her up as much as possible. Yeah, and also to remember that, you know, 1994, remember those were the good old days, the days when I got elected, back before Republicans lost their way. I'm going to bring us back to those, you those good times. Oh, Fred no, Thompson. No, I'm pretending is. to be Fred Thompson. Okay, okay, so, okay. Like if I, can you see that? So I'm going to sit like, I'm actually going to sit like this. And yeah, just be like, oh, I can bring us draw. back. And basically saying, you know, I wasn't there when it all hit the fan. Right. Okay, I was doing my own thing. All right, next one. All right. What else do we have to take a look at? In 1994, when I first ran, I advocated the same common sense conservative positions that I hold today. This is a direct shot at Rudy Giuliani, who, as right mayor there. of New York, was a much more liberal, social right. liberal, than he is uh, running as right now. And Mitt Romney, who basically uh, played the same role as governor of Massachusetts. I think you're going to see him team up with John McCain, who's already sort of, you know, making that argument against Mitt Romney. Uh, you're going to see the two of them, I think, team up as the more consistent conservatives in the race. The benefit for Thompson being that he can appeal, he can appeal to a lot of the conservatives that have already sort of cast off the idea of voting for McCain. Cain. Right. Well, the real question, though, if you're Rudy Giuliani, is is this a good thing or not? Right. That let's hope that all the fire is aimed at Romney. Maybe he gets some spillover. But the bottom line is Giuliani has to be careful too about ganging up on McCain mm -hmm. um, because he needs McCain voters well, to come he, over to and him. And he's so nice to McCain. You well, saw in the debate last he night. Was. He said that he would he would vote for McCain of if he wasn't. Of course he would running. because those McCain voters are Giuliani voters, precisely. and we know that precisely. So. Um, we're on the same wavelength there. We at least. are. All, so we we're, are we're not in a fight anymore. No. Even though good. we disagree about we're something. Good. Okay. Amy plus John. All right. All right. What do we have next? Just within the next few years, some very serious challenges are moving toward us that will present a difficult and dangerous time in the life of our nation. There are grave issues affecting the safety and security of the American people and our economic well being. I'm going to do my level best in this campaign to address these problems, and I'm going to give this campaign all that I have to give. And I hope that you'll join me. You know, what is different about those words than anything that, 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 that Rudy Giuliani or John McCain uh, or Mitt Romney uh, or any of the, the Republican candidates have been talking about for the past six to eight months? And that's the problem that Fred Thompson faces. Four or five months ago, his, his candidacy had a real rationale. He was going to be, you know, he's going to be different. He had a whole different argument for why he was getting into this race. Now that, they're, 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 now that the Republican candidacies have started to mature and develop and evolve, yeah. you really, I think he's a much higher challenge, much higher threshold to prove that he brings something different to the race. You know what he brings? Six foot six, and he can say it in a deeper voice. Right? He can but say it because he's Without the good lighting, acting. without the good lighting, and without the makeup that he gets on, the, uh, on Law and Order. Yeah. Uh, it, may, it may not and sound you saw the same. that last night. The, 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 the Tonight Show with Jay Leno does not apparently have as good of a makeup artist as the, uh, as the show on Law and & Order. And you saw the conservative bloggers already complaining about how he looked a little too old, mm -hmm. a little too wrinkly, a little too tired, uh, and they weren't sort of used to the, to, to the appearance. And that can be a challenge for him, which right. is sort of unexpected, I think. Right. Although nobody has the, you know, the, the one person who theoretically could make the case about uh, um, uh, security would be Giuliani. At least he has some substantive you know, basis to go back to with 9-11, mm. uh, which of course will be debated too, and John McCain who can talk about um, his experience on these issues. Um, you're right, Fred Thompson doesn't have the experience to talk about it. What he hopes is that the way he looks and acts and talks about it will make up for that. Big we'll question marks, Big question. but we are unfortunately oh, out of time for so today. Sad. Please, though, join us tomorrow on Hotline TV. Where we'll be acting.